What's up everybody? In this lesson, we're going to talk about effective learning strategies. If you feel like you've already got an effective learning strategy, go ahead and skip this video on to the next one. If not, hold on. I feel like I got some pretty good tips for you that have not only helped me, but have helped a lot of the others that have chose to, to learn from me. So learning is a, a curious thing because it's so personal. You know, Einstein once said if you judged a fish on how to climb a tree, then you would think the fish was dumb. Um, in that same quote, he mentioned that everyone has their, their own genius. So I, I want you to know that these tips, take some, leave some, but just know that you have the capability to learn anything that you set your mind to, and that if you have an interest in the subject, you should follow it. Uh, I think sometimes, I know myself personally, I sometimes I'm scared to learn. It's a weird thing. I'm almost like intimidated by a subject to the point where I may not even try it. So the best thing you can really do is what you're doing right now and you're actually taking action steps. You're trying it, you're going through this video series. So I would, I would encourage you to, with any of this and anything you wanna learn, just go ahead and start diving into whatever that is and try it, try to start learning it. Um, also, I really need you to understand that this stuff might be a challenge at first. You know, when I was first learning IT technology and cybersecurity and networking, I didn't get it right away. It didn't come naturally to me, but my interest really took me far. It was, I was getting frustrated and a lot of the things I was putting together weren't working. I was, I was failing a lot, but the interest I had and the persistence that was in me pushed me to keep going and keep learning. So I encourage you, just keep learning, keep going forward. And, uh, you know, you're going to you're gonna be kind of bad at this at first, but that's the fun of it, right? Is you're starting from scratch or if, you know, you, on any subject that's brand new to you, you're starting from scratch. You're not born with that knowledge. So I encourage you to just keep going, keep fighting, keep learning. So here are my tips. Um, the first thing that I would say to do is you need to go ahead and write your learning goals down. You know, many people will, they wonder why they're not succeeding. They wonder why they're not accomplishing their goals. Well, it's because they don't have any. Um, they, or, or they're not, they're scattered around. So what I would say is write those goals down. Start with three learning goals. So feel free to pause this video and go write down those three learning goals. Okay, so if you've written down those learning goals or not, uh, we'll, we'll keep going. Just know that when, when you're writing a learning goal down, it should be as specific as possible. So let's say you say, you know, you want to get through this course. You say, I want to get through practical networking fundamentals course by this date. So put in a date too, because you want to make your goals measurable. You want to say, okay, this is this is when I'm going to be done and you're going to aim for it, right? Or maybe your learning goal is I want to get a job in information technology or in cybersecurity by this time. So write that down, right? And write it down somewhere that you feel like you're going to actually go and look at it every now and then. So I'll show you where I keep my goals. Uh, and this is fun. It's a fun project for me. This is my personal blog site. You can find it by going to ltneighbor.net. But one of the things that I've done with this site, and this is actually hosted on a platform called Gitbook, G-I-T-B-O-O-K.com. Uh, Git is a version control system. You can look it up in the description. I've, I've linked to that, uh, to, to Git as well as Gitbook. For free, you can build uh, essentially a book online. And what I've done with this, uh, this my personal blog site and my personal portfolio is I've made it out to be a book because I feel like that's appropriate being that I like to teach and I like to do jobs that you know pay me to teach. So uh, I, I wanted it to kind of flow like a book. So I would recommend you try this out. It's, it supports multimedia, so you can go up here, post, uh, GIFs or GIFs, whatever you want to say, and and uh, it'll present on the screen in a beautiful looking way. It makes it really easy. You can actually learn a little bit of web development or some Markdown, Markdown, which is a, a popular language that it's simple to learn. I, I've learned by just maintaining my blog as I design some of these video courses. So for you and your goals, maybe one idea is to go ahead and go on Gitbook, create 
create a Gitbook account and a page and start working on your goals and start writing about them, blogging. Um, so it's a great idea. Start with three. So I know I've got more right here that you can see behind me, but uh, st I would recommend starting with three. It's digestible and it's something that is measurable. So if you've got 10 goals, that's great, but focus on a select few at a time. I, I bet you're more likely to accomplish them. So there, there, there's my, uh, the first tip here. Second tip is I want you to identify learning resources. And when I say that, I mean learning resources that will, you know, directly relate to your learning goals. So, you know, what, what do I mean learning resource? Well, are there certain websites you like to go to? Are there certain social media platforms you like to go on? Uh, Discord channels? This video course is a learning resource. I hope that you use this course to accomplish one of your goals. That's one of the things I really... I'm passionate about is helping you accomplish your goals. So I also, if you're in our Discord for this class, I strongly recommend putting some of your goals in Discord. You never know. Somebody might jump in and give you uh, tips that could, you know, really help you. Some, something that you didn't know before. So learning resources come from everywhere. They can be so many different platforms, video courses, books, websites, social media sites, who uh, you name it quantify your learning. So that's my third major tip. What does that mean? Well, that means making your learning measurable, similar to the goals. But here, 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 here we go. So if, if you're looking at a book, for example, and it has 500 pages or 1,000 pages, what you want to try to get down to is you want to say, how long is it going to take me to get through this book? You know, I, before I started doing this, it was like I wasn't finishing any of these books. Because when I, when I study for a certification or I prep for a course, I typically have a book I, I pull influence from and a video series. At least with certifications, I have a book and a video series I follow. And I look at how many pages are in this book or how many chapters. How many chapters can I read a day or a week? So start breaking that down for yourself. And again, I... I you know your schedule better than anybody else. So where can you schedule time to work on this? So that's a big part of it too. It's kind of written, you know, between the lines of scheduling and actually making time to do this. Uh, you can you can really be more effective if you quantify it. So you say, look, I really want to pat, I want to I want to get chapter one done by Friday or by this day, and you do that, and and you could you know break it down into digestible chunks. Uh, so the fourth big thing, and, and you know, you're going to hear me say this a lot because I'm such a big fan of it. That is connect with community. Uh, you know, these days and at the time of this recording, we've gone through a, we've gone through a global pandemic. So it's it's harder to get in face to face to, to talk to people and to get in crowds and learn in person. So whether you know, when you're online, you can still connect with community, um, whether that's discord Facebook, um, Twitter, you name it. There's tons of social media sites you can go on and connect with community. I've found that Discord is a fantastic place to go to learn. There's a lot of great and helpful people. You, you know, you meet a lot of interesting people no matter where you go. But in particular, I've found that Discord's fun because you can just talk, ask questions, share links. So go ahead and do that. Uh, follow these four. I challenge you to do it. Um, after you've done that, go ahead and uh, click on that next video. I'll see you there.